right, you beautiful bastions of hockey greatness. Welcome back. Stand witness to our amazing franchise mode here on NHL 22 with the San Jose Sharks. We just come off our third Stanley Cup in four years. That is right. We had back-to-backs and then took a couple L's and it came right back and won that thing again. So we are filling ourselves right now, but we have a little bit of an eventful offseason, if I do say so myself. So let's just real quick go and check at the awards and see if oh yeah 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 columbus has a uh team brewing over there they've won they, they've won several awards and oh hold on oh yeah that, that makes sense that makes sense that we would win the con smythe other than that no individual awards because that's just not what we do here what we do is play as a team and just have that whole thing going oh, man that kid is a problem that hutchinson is a problem that whole team is a problem over there in the ahl i just accidentally hit the button and we went to the AHL, but it is what it is. Okay, let's go. Off-season, San Jose Sharks. Let's see if we can challenge for another Stanley Cup here. Can we make it four Stanley Cups in five years? That would be, like, we're already a modern-day dynasty, but four Stanley Cups in five years would be really, like, next level. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see if, uh, if we can come even close to that. All right, let's just go to the retirement screen. Hopefully, nobody on our team is retiring. I doubt anyone's retiring, though. Mark Shifley, Sienata. We have Tyler Sagan. Our Temperpreneur, my boy, is going to retire an Islander? What is that? What is that? Evander Kane. Oh, my goodness. What took you so long to call it? Morgan Riley is going to be a career Maple Leaf. Okay, okay. Tyler Toffoli, Strom, Peugeot. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're getting to the... We're getting to some secondary players here a little bit. Now, actually, these are still good. Ristolainen, Rist shout out Ristolainen. He's retiring at the ripe old age of 35. Alex Galchenyuk calling it. Okay, okay, okay. What about goaltenders? It doesn't look like we fa we lost anybody that relevant. Goaltenders, yeah, there you go. Shout out Garrett Sparks. Okay, so that's the retirees, and I don't feel like we've lost uh, we've lost that much. Draft interviews, you know what, man? We're going to go ahead and skip that, because last time we skipped it, we ended up winning the Stanley Cup, so you know what? We're just going to send it, all right? We're just going to be great. Who has the first overall pick? I, I didn't even pay. Oh, Tampa. Everything goes right for Tampa, so I bet there's a franchise player in the, the year. Uh, no, actually, no. N never mind. Never mind. Buffalo. Shout out Buffalo. Still rebuilding out here. This is unbelievable. We're like in 2030 now, and they're still rebuilding. All right, pick number 32. Let's go. The low, I saw the elite, and I was very tantalized for a second. Oh, oh, oh. Timeout, timeout. We have a gem. We have a gem that's probably low top six, but then... There's a chance that this hybrid goalie is a medium elite, but I'm not going to draft a goalie because we already have a goalie in Couturier that's coming up, and he's medium elite, so we don't really need that. So I think I'm just going to draft a highest gem available, and hopefully he's better than a low top six. And if he's not better than a low top six, then hopefully... Oh, wait, we didn't have a first round pick. Is that... Is that what just happened? We did not have a first round. No, we didn't. Oh, okay. I wasn't paying attention. That's why we didn't get the... Okay, well, in that case, hold on now. For the second... The last pick of the second round? That's not bad. That's not bad. He's a gem. He's a low top six, but he's a gem. So he might he might mess around become a real top six. And, hey, if we get a little bit lucky, he might mess around become an elite player. You know, low elite, something like that. We might we might get a player out of this here. Oh, 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 oh. speaking of players, I said I wouldn't draft a goaltender. Let's not do that. There's a couple available, though. Uh, do we want to have two goaltending prospects? Do we want to do that? Because there's a few goalies available here. And, oh, two-way D, very likely to be a medium elite. De La River. Oh, my goodness. De La River. I don't, I don't know. Your, your name's lit, brother. We're going to draft you last pick of the third round. You're going to be medium elite. Let's go. Okay, that's, that's very good for us. I like that. I like that. Only two picks so far. But I like the two picks that we have. We're going to go ahead and sort by potential again. And we have goalies, a power forward. Okay, okay, maybe a power forward. That wouldn't be too bad if we got a power forward. Do we have any gems available? We do not. Yeah, I think we're just going to go ahead and pick the power forward, y'all. We're just going to have a little bit of everything here on uh, this draft glass, except the goaltender, because we, we're straight at that. Yeah, no, let's go. Oh, hold on. Nah, that's a low that's a low elite. We're pretty sure about it too. We'll take a chance that this guy might might be uh an elite or low elite something. 
Oh, ooh, that's a whiff. Okay, bottom six foot. All right, all right. It's <laughs> Listen, we won three Stanley Cups in four years, all right? I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. We've done a great job here on the San Jose Sharks. Uh, top nine forward? Yeah, I'm actually interested in the top nine forward. I think I'm just going to rifle through these last couple of picks here because there's not really, uh, there's not much of a, I don't know, there's not much of a point to to spending too much time on this. We're going to go with the, the potential sniper here. And we're going to go ahead and simulate. We'll see in a couple of years, you know, if these guys start creeping up, then we'll know where we got them. Oh, oh, low elite. Yeah, give me a low elite. I'll take that. Boom. I'm not digging too, too deep because, I mean, they are late round picks. And uh, there you go. Those are the prospects that we had. Shout out to our first round pick that was fired into the sun because uh, daddy needed a Stanley Cup. And, and we went ahead and we got that Stanley Cup. Okay. Whoa, that is a lot of scouts. So now here we are with the re-sign phase, and it's going to be a bit of a uh, a bit of a rocky one. Okay, I feel like we have about a two-year competitive window where we really have a big chance at winning, but we do have Eklund, uh, you know, our our big main centerpiece, our number one center on a three-year deal, a three-year team-friendly deal still. But this is the one here. Shalmerson just had a 48-goal season. The weird thing with Shalmerson is if you look at his stats. You can see that he kind of he kind of has a really good season and then a bad season. Well, for his standards, and then a really good season and then a, a mid season. You know, I, I feel like he, he's the Sergey Bobrovsky of friggin' forwards out here. So having coming off of a forty eight goal season, he wants a whole twelve million. Man, we cannot. Oh, it, we have a lot of money, right? We have a lot of cap space here. What would what would it be, right? If we went for a three year deal. It wouldn't even save us that much money. It wouldn't save... Nope. Okay. We're still going to have to go at 12 mil for Shalmerson. And he's an 87 overall. You know what we're going to do? We're going to qualify Shalmerson. And I'm going to try to see... Try to see if he can come down in price. And he, if he can't, then we're going to have to match or whatever. We're just going to qualify him and, and let him let him be. Let him be. Now, Marco Rossi is another interesting case. He's a whole 85 overall. Now, after we picked him up... We salvaged this man's career. Look, we signed him under a million dollars. That's how not well Marco Rossi's career was going. Look at that. Last season, played under 20 games for Minnesota. And uh, very underwhelming 20 games at that. Six points, minus six. Then we signed him. We put him on a, in a position to succeed. He shot 12% out here. And boom. Just like that. Nearly a 50-point player. I feel like I want to re-sign Marco Rossi, cause, but but the thing is, if we look at our centers here, uh, you can see uh, McGinn doesn't count because he's our top line left winger, so we're not we're not gonna count him. But we have two good centers, Eklund being our number one, and then we have Joachim being our number two center. Do we want to spend the money to have a really really good? Number three center, and, and by spend the money, I mean six million dollars. I'm not entirely sure about that, so we're gonna leave Marco Rossi for a little bit later. You know, we're gonna go around the roster, sign who we know for sure that we want to resign and bring back, and then we'll see if we can afford to keep Marco Rossi. Other than that, I think uh, left wingers, yeah, obviously, we got Shalmerson. And we have this low elite gentleman who is an 80 overall. Oh, yeah, Hobson, I remember you. You were part of a trade, I think, if I remember correctly. 11 goals, you know, 20-point guy. Eh, eh, not, not, the, not the best. Definitely not the worst, though. You know, yeah, he's I for the chemistry, and he doesn't want to resign. So, you know what? Fuck off. We have no NHL-caliber right-wingers signed. They are all expiring today, except we have Rosen, who's technically listed as a center or another position, but we play him at right wing. So, yeah, that's that could be an issue as well. We have Ellison, who's a whole 84 out here. This man scored 30 goals, though. It's a really good player. Hold on. What do you want? You want... Mm, He's a 30-goal scorer, like 6.7. I don't even blame him for wanting that. I would like to bring back Timo Meyer, but he's a little bit old, man, and he's going to start declining. Uh, he's good for the chemistry, but you know what I mean? Like He's declining, and I don't... I don't want to get I don't want to get sentimental here and make a bad decision, you know what I mean? Even though he just had a really decent season for us. What do you want? What do you want team? No shot. No shot. We are giving Timo Meyer that kind of money. Not at 33 years. Old. That is unbelievable. 
Wow, this man wants to get paid, paid. Guys, I can't I can't keep Timo Meyer. I'm so sorry, Sharks fans. Honestly, he's been a warrior for us. He's been here his entire career. This contract makes no sense for us. None. Not even a little bit. He's going to be a, th a second, maybe third liner. We have to we have to release Timo Meyer. Damn, that actually sucks. We have a restricted free agent. Oh, yeah, I remember you, Ludwig. I remember you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Second round pick a couple seasons ago. He's a sniper. He's all grown up now. Look at him. He's an 82 overall, ready to step in. He was a 60-point guy in the AHL last season. Oh, hell yeah. We might be able to sneak in a really good player here because, you know, he hasn't... Uh, yeah, you see, he doesn't want a whole lot of money because he hasn't played an NHL game yet. Despite him being an 82 overall and having medium elite potential, we might have Shalmerson's replacement right here, boys. We just might have it. Okay. That's going to soften the blow of Timo Meyer leaving. Let's qualify this gentleman, and let's see if we can. I feel like I want to sign him for a bit longer, though. You know, like, I feel like we might be able to get away with, uh... Ah, uh, no, we're going to go with a four-year deal. Yeah, 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 four-year deal, and we're going to go to about the money amount that he wants. At 3.45 mil, I feel like I feel like that's a pretty good contract, honestly, especially once he gets to, like, an 86 overall in two years. This uh, this Ludwig gentleman could end up being a really really good player for us, and if he's not, I mean three point you know three and a half million dollars about for a middle six winger that's not the worst you know it's not a great contract but at the worst case he'll be a mid level mid level contract. We have our goaltending situation is fantastic. Uh, Sylvester and Aiden Hill are going to be our NHL goalies. Our AHL starter doesn't want to re-sign, so we're going to release him. And I think I'll sign like a mid-ass starter so that Couturier, the goaltender I was talking about earlier, gets more playing time, more starts. That would be pretty good if we could find a way to do that. Okay, and as far as defense goes, we are pretty damn strong at defense. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have three guys signed to some pretty good deals. And we have Pulak, who's getting up there in age in his mid-30s. He's at 83 and he wants just under $5 million. Damn. Here's the thing. I'm willing to bet that by the time the season starts, the regular season, he's going to be an 82, and that's not going to be worth it. So we're going to have to move on from, from uh, Ryan Pulock as well, which sucks. I don't want to do that, but we, we kind of have to. And we'll see if we can sign somebody in free agency same thing with brett pesci damn those have been like staples of our blue line for a while and he wants two years at nonsense money get off my team brett come on man this this whole this whole franchise has been built on players you know d doing their part in a whole team effort and you know when you do that for a certain amount of time eventually people start want to start getting paid and ah, we just can't afford it. So we're going to have to have the rotating cast of uh, characters and see if we can replace these gentlemen. But our defense is not great for five. Yeah, yeah, no, no, we definitely not great. We need to sign some defenders. Our, our top tier is great. Our top tier is fantastic. But our bottom pair, oof, 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 boof. We need to re-sign some guys or at least find new guys to sign. Okay. So, yeah, let's just go. By overall rating, our two big question marks, Marco Rossi and Shalmerson. Marco Rossi being the biggest question mark because I think we're going to reassign Shalmerson without too much uh, too much thought. We have Ellison that I would like to re-sign. Mm, what do you want, Mr. Ellison? What if I said two years? Ah, that doesn't really help us. That doesn't really help us at all. Do we just let him walk and... and you know, deal with the fact that that trade was for a one-time thing. Because that's, that's that's a lot of money. That is a whole lot of money for somebody I, I don't know. You know, I, I'm not too sure about because, really, he only had one season with us. Mm. Does Marco have a secondary? No, Marco doesn't have a secondary position. I was going to say maybe we can slide him at the right wing spot if worse comes to worse. But that doesn't look like it would be too good. Man, I don't particularly like where we are right now as far as the cap goes. I don't really like this at all. Okay, but we do have a lot of cap space. I just don't want to overpay players and then get stuck. And then when it comes time to re-sign the big boys, we don't have 
the means to do so. You know what I mean? I'm trying to avoid that. So Allison, okay. Realistically, Allison is probably going to be our second line right winger. If you play, if you pay your second line right winger about six million dollars, is that is that really that bad? Considering the cap is now 102 million dollars. Is that really that bad? I don't think it's that bad. We're going to try $6.4 million for two years, and we'll see if it works. Hopefully it does. And I say two years because a lot of our top guys are two-year terms. You see, we have uh, we have a couple guys expiring at that level, so we want, to, we want to see if we can give ourselves some flexibility. And we have Ellison. It was an easy decision. Let's go. We signed Ellison. We signed Ludwig. Hopefully this guy can come in and be a really good... Um, team friendly deal for us that would be the ultimate man Chalmers doesn't even want to re-sign too that sucks that actually sucks we might need to sign Marco Rossi just in case we lose Chalmerson but then again if we sign Marco Rossi it's going to hurt our ability to sign Chalmerson <laughs> so we don't really want to do that I think we're going to have to let Marco go and just sign a dedicated third line center. Okay, so a couple of days into re-sign phase, I've made my decision. We're going to release Marco Rossi. He's just, he's too good to be a third liner. We're going to release him. And hopefully he can find good opportunities somewhere. And if no one wants to re-sign him and we have the cap space, we might sign him. You know, letting him go to free agency doesn't mean we don't, we're opposed to re-signing him, okay? And we're going to keep Shalmerson qualified. And we'll see what we can do with that, I think think yeah that's pretty much it that's pretty much ggs what we need is a couple defensemen no how many defensemen do we have let me just uh how many nhl playable defensemen do we have we got one two three four yeah that's pretty much it okay so we te so we need two defensemen and we need to see if we can re-sign shalmerson and then after that just sign some depth guys for the bottom six and we should be fine so that is the re-sign phase for the sharks and we'll see Chalmerson's price did not drop at all. He still wants seven years. He already has a team that's interested. Guys, I'm telling you right now, we might need to drop Chalmerson. We might need to take compensation for Chalmerson, get some high draft picks, and and just let it go. Let it go, which, which is unfortunate. That's definitely not something that I wanted to do, but if we have to do what we have to do here on the Sharks, okay? It's, it's Stanley Cup's above everything else and especially feelings so let's go to defenseman and let's see if we can uh actually no 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 let's go to centers and let's see if we can replenish our third line center role because that was uh that is definitely something that we want to be secured a third line center i'd like him to be about yeah yeah that's uh oh oh you're coming in relatively cheap Nolan Patrick, do you fit this scheme? Ah, you don't fit the scheme on the bottom six, which is unfortunate. But we do have uh, Berggren. Berggren. Jonathan Berggren. That's that's a dope name, actually. Please fit. Please fit. Forward line four. Ah, 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 not not the best. Not the best fit at all. Um, if we're being honest with ourselves. Sean Monahan. I kind of skipped over him. I didn't even... Ooh, line three. That's basically what we want to sign him for. We're going to sign Sean Monahan at $3.2 million. He... I'd like to sign him for one year, though. So, you know what? We're going to give him $3.4 million. A little bit more money, less term. Hopefully, Sean Monahan can come to, uh, to the San Jose Sharks. And other than that, is there any, you know, any deals? Are there any deals here? Players that feel like they're not worth what they're worth? Kovanov, yeah, nah. Actually, Kovanov, I think, fits the scheme. No, nope, we don't know that for sure. So we're not going to risk it. Okay, let's go to defensemen. Let's sign some defense because we definitely need some third-pairing help. Is there anybody that could potentially be a little bit of a deal for us? Okay, defensemen are pretty expensive. Uh, shit, I was uh, not really thinking that we were getting a discount from the other guys. This is the cheapest defenseman that we have out here, Will Butcher. We're gonna we're gonna give you a little bit extra money just to hopefully make sure that he signs with us. Everybody else is uh, pretty pretty damn expensive, which uh, looks like we might have a bit of um. 
bit of a rough time uh, on defense this year. This might be a bit of a retool year here for the Sharks, which is uh, something that we did not think was going to be the case. Axel Anderson, that's a freaking fantastic name, dude. That is a fantastic name. Defensive pairing one, all power play line. Nah, don't really need that. Don't really need that. We checked you already. Does anybody else want a cheaper deal? Sean Walker, do you fit? Defensive pairing, uh, you fit a little bit. We'll sign Sean Walker. Why not? Two years. Okay, we'll do that. And we'll go a few days here. And hopefully, Shalmerson doesn't get signed. And if he does, well, it is what it is. We're going to have to, I don't know, spend the money on some defense and and do it like that. Okay, Will Butcher is going to sign. Monahan's going to sign. Walker's going to sign. Fantastic. And would you just look at that? Shalmerson has already gone down to $10.2 million. That is fantastic. And we will see if we can convince him to perhaps come down under 10 that would be ideal. There is one team interested according to the uh, the game. So what we're going to do is sim a couple days. I don't want to sim too, too far because as his price drops, his, uh, his interest around the league is going to come up. He still wants seven years, though. That's what's hurting him. If you wanted that price for like four years, people would be all over this man. But he wants... He wants a lot of uh, a lot of stability here with that contract. So we're going to sim another two years. That's a big trade. We're not going to do that right now. Actually, we're going to sim another three days. Did I say years? My bad. I meant days. And we'll see if Shalmerson has dropped. If he doesn't really drop, yeah, he's still dropping a little bit. You know what we're going to do? We're going to offer him a three-year contract at just over nine and a half. And we'll see if we can uh, sign him to that kind of money. Decided to accept your offer. Okay, so we sign Shalmerson under $10 million. That is huge. That is fantastic. It's not a long-term deal, but honestly, he's not a centerpiece. Like He's a really, really, really good player, but he's not one of my main cornerstones. So I'm happy with that. Do we have all defensive bearings anywhere? Top four defensive. That's not bad for Chalowski. And Chalowski sims quite well, so we might go after Chalowski and make a trade here because we've signed a few players. Yeah, we're going to go ahead. We're going to sign Mr. Chalowski. You're 32, you're 32, though, so we'll give you a two-year deal. You seem to be a little bit cheap for what you're doing, Mr. Julian Gauthier. And he was doing quite well for us. Last time he was on the team, do we sign Julian Gauthier? I think we might. I think we might. At two and a, yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to sign Julian Gauthier. There you go. Boom. All right. So now we're going to sim a couple days. Huck. Oh, Julian. Julian's going to go to the Hurricanes. That uh, that makes me sad, honestly, because I really like Julian Gauthier. But, okay. And Chalowski's not going to come with it. Okay. All right. That is uh, not ideal, to say the fucking least. You know what we're going to do? We have a lot of cap space. Landeskog, do you fit? Do you fit? You fit on the first line. You fit. We might just sign somebody huge. We might just sign somebody huge. Timo Meyer, eh, eh. I want, I feel like I want Captain Landy. Can we just sign Captain Landy? If it's going to be that hard to sign players, let's sign somebody who wants a one-year deal. 7.4, one-year deal. Captain Landy, come play. For the San Jose Sharks, please. And then we're going to leave ourselves like $2 million-ish of uh, of cap space. Just in case we want to make a trade halfway through the year. And we're taking on more money than we're giving up. Landis Cog is signing with the San Jose Sharks. All right. I just I wanted to stop fucking around. And I wanted to get a good player before we ran out of good players available. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. We're going to go balls deep into this. Anthony Mantha is actually quite a steal at that price. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to give him literally the rest of our cap space for this year. Please, Anthony, Anthony, please, um, listen. We would really like you on the San Jose Sharks. Okay, please, Anthony Mantha, sign with San Jose. Uh, we're going to have uh, some trade offers we're not interested in at the moment. 
And yes, sir. Yes, sir. We signed Anthony Mantha. Okay. Right. So here are the San Jose Sharks. We have McGinn with Eklund and Rosen. That's our first line forever. And it's given us our plus five once again this year. Our second line is going to be Shalmerson with Jokin and Ludwig. I know we don't really get any sort of chemistry boost for this, but we get a plus two on a third line, which is Landy, Monahan, and Ellison. I want to put Ellison on the second line, but it, it negates everything that we've worked for with the chemistry so we're not going to do that and the fourth line is going to be DeBrusque, Little, and Roska or Ritsika, whatever and they are also not going to get a chemistry boost but I feel like our first two lines are pretty damn good and I mean our third line plus two with Captain Landeskog I mean come on come on that's a, that's a sick third line man it should help us with the bottom six our defense it's a little weak I'm not going to lie we have Craig and Merkley holding it down on the top pair with a plus two that's been a good top pair for us. And then we have Chikrin and Sean Walker, who's given us a plus two. And then we have Larson and Will Butcher. Now, I'd like an upgrade on Sean Walker. I don't feel like that is good. And if we switch him, we can actually play Will Butcher there and still get the plus two. So I'm thinking we take Sean Walker and we send him out of here with one of the guys that didn't make the cut. That being Anthony Mantha, and then we'll see if we can if we can do something with that and get a little bit of an upgrade on defense. That would be pretty good. And of course, uh, if if you had to guess or if you wondered, it's Sylvester and Aiden Hill once again holding it down in between the pipes. Now, I want you to see this. Look at our power plays. Both of them are plus five. We should have. A great freaking time with the man advantage this year, even though our first our first unit has five forwards. So that might, I don't know, that might not be the best. What if we put Craig there? No, that hurts our chemistry. We don't want to do that. What if we put Chikrin there? That hurts our chemistry as well. We don't want to do that. Plus five all around. And then our penalty kill, it's not plus fives, but you know what? It's still a plus. And I feel like, uh, do we want to put Joke in there instead of Little? I don't know. Nah, Little has a lot of X factors or, or superstar zone ability, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And I would put Eklund on the first PK, but I don't, I, I don't want to overwork him, right? I don't, I don't want to give him too much playing time and just burn him here. So here we go. Those are the San Jose Sharks. And I feel like we are doing pretty damn well here. We have a good chance once again at a Stanley Cup, especially if I can get that trade that I want through. Turns out we can do just that. It looks like Carolina wants both of them, Mantha and Sean Walker. And they don't really want to get rid of Shea Theodore. But listen, man, listen. He is on an expiring contract. He got an X Factor. He's an 83 overall, which is an upgrade. And his fit is, according to this, on the second pair, which is exactly what I'm getting him for. And we're going to add in a prospect, which actually looks like he might make the show. Like, real talk, he might become an actual NHL player, but he's not going to become a top, top player. So we can replace him. And unfortunately, some sacrifices have to be made, especially because they have to retain some money on Shea Theodore. I don't know for sure that this goes through. It does not. They're not willing to retain the money well listen listen carolina there's no there's no way around it you have to do this and it's just for this year it's literally just for this year big man like you're you're straight you're straight here here have a fourth and shut the fuck up it's philly's fourth too it's it's your own divit all right all right let's uh let's let's have a have a third like ha have philly's third are we good can we? Thank you. Okay. Look at that. We have ourselves a better defense score now. Yes, sir. It, and it's a plus three. It was a plus two before we made the trade. Now it's a plus three. And he's three overall higher than the guy we traded. I mean, come on. Come on. That's a huge trade. That's a fantastic trade. That second pair all of a sudden went from, eh, at least they have one good defenseman to, yo, that pair is a problem. And here we are. Are starting this season actually before we do anything else any sim at all we're gonna see if we have some contract extensions that we could be handing out early here before anybody explodes check when you're old i don't want to do that in case you fall off a cliff uh same thing with these gentlemen yeah every possible extension is from an old player we don't really want to do that okay so we don't have any extensions to do it's time for some simulating. <laughs> 59 wins. 
Oh my god, we are running the show in San Jose. Look at that. Damn, that is nuts. Okay, and our top scorer only had 69 points, and it's not even one of our big guys. It's freaking Rosen. <laughs> oh my god, I don't get it. I don't get it, man. This balanced approach just fucking works, man. If you have a team and you have one or two like hyper superstars that get 110 points and you can't figure out why you're not winning Stanley Cups, build a balanced team. That's that's how you do it. That's how you win hockey games here. Look at this. 37 goals from again, which is good. Shalmerson had a, a bad season. That's that's not even yeah, you can't. No way. No shot. You you need to be better than that. Ellison had a pretty good year though. What about our rookie R Ludwig? Okay, 42. You know what? Hey, 42 points is pretty good. Pretty good. And he's going to be better next season cuz he's at 84. He's got that medium elite. Oh my god. Boys. I'm hyped. I'm actually excited about this this uh this San Jose Sharks team and Sylvester. Oh yeah, 918, 9.23 goaltending from Aiden Hill. Come on, come on now, come on now. We are doing work out here. Our power play is very powerful. You saw the plus five everywhere. Come on now. Come on now. First round. Who's up? The Edmonton Oilers. I'm actually gonna send past game one. My bad. My bad, I went a little bit too far. And, yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we're going to be one nothing ahead of the Oilers already. Can we make it 2 nothing? Yes, sir. Can we just get them to move out the way here in the first round? Yes, we can. Burning past Edmonton. I am Connor McDavid is having such an awful, awful time over there. <laughs> oh, I kind of feel bad. But we bought ourselves some rest, which is something we typically don't do. For some reason, we like to drag out series. This is... And we'll see if we can uh, keep the good times rolling. Yeah, we're 7 and 0. Oh, we have built an unbelievable hockey team. Holy shit. Holy shit. We're 8 and 1. Through two rounds, we lost a grand total of one hockey game. Holy moly. And here come the Nashville Predators. Let's see if they want some. They think they want some. How much do they want, though? None. 2 and 0 oh against the. Pre this might be the greatest team I've ever built, yo. This might be the great. Oh, never mind. Okay, they're going to tie the, the series with two back-to-back -back wins at home for them. So that's that's good. Okay, game five. I thought it was just about to steamroll through the entire playoffs, y'all. That, that was about to be huge. Here we go. Game five. This is a big one. First period of play, we got a one-goal lead. You already know. Second period of play, we got a 4 nothing lead. We're not even slow simming. Come on, 6 nothing. We just we just roll past motherfuckers. Game five. Huge job. I'm not even slow simming to game six. Come on now. Come on now. Oh, okay. Okay. They're gonna they're gonna push us to game seven. Are we actually about to lose? Man, this could be the best team I ever built. There's no chance we lose, right? Let's go. Slow sim game seven. I'll be pissed. I'll actually be upset if we if we don't win this game. Come on. We need this. Ooh, we're down one early. It's all good. We're a veteran team. Is Nashville about to upset us? I am going to turbo look at their roster if they're about to upset us, man. I'll be pissed. I'll be actually furious. Come on. We got to score a couple goals, though. We can't we can't come out here and get shut out in game seven. That's just not good, especially at SAP Center. Are they going to be the ones to take down the Giants, the absolute Giants that are the San Jose Sharks? Oh, big penalty kill, and we do kill it off. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Can we draw a power play, though? Oh, we allow a second goal. This might be it. We might bow out in the third round after steamrolling past the first two. Oh, Nashville. Nashville, if y'all hold on to a three-goal lead in one period, they're going to take us down in the conference finals. Oh, come on. Guys, I need a big-time comeback here. I need a huge comeback, please. Please, we need some. We need something. Captain Landeskog, bottom six. Come on, man up. Oh, wow. It's 4 nothing. We are going to absolutely eat earth. Oh, hold on. Big power play time. Big power play time. We got one goal, and that's all we're going to get. Wow. We lose in seven games. After being up to zip in the conference finals, that sucks. That absolutely sucks. Ili Tovid, who is this Kostin cat? Oh, come on, man. I'm pissed. I'm actually pissed, man. I thought for sure we had a 
another Stanley Cup Finals appearance, but we're going to bow out in the third round. Eklund leading our team in scoring. That's just what we like to see. Man, that actually sucks. That actually sucks. What happened? What happened? Ek er, McGinn was doing work, you know, 10 points. Eklund was doing work. Rosen was doing work with 10 points as well. Shalmerson, I mean, 8 points. It's not bad. Uh, Jokin is a beast, by the way. Holy smokes. I'm so glad I took it. Uh, not took a chance, but I'm so glad I gave this kid a shot. Let's go, man. Nine points for Ludwig. Hey, it's not the rookie's fault, bro. Nine points. Come on. You can't be mad at that. Landis Cog had seven goals in that playoff run, and we still couldn't do it. Monaghan, seven points. Five for Ellison. Okay, a little bit of a disappointment. Only two points for DeBrus. Not good enough. Ooh, yeah, that entire fourth line is not good enough. We need to maybe... I, I was going to say upgrade it, but I mean, look look at it. It's not a bad fourth line. It's actually a pretty good fourth line. It just didn't perform for us. Okay, Craig, only four points, but uh, eh, minus one rating. Not the greatest. Merkley minus two. Not the greatest. That second pair of superstars, though. Let's go. And I'm glad that Theodore was an expiring contract because, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's on the decline now. That probably contributed a little bit. And, yeah. What about our goaltending? What about our goaltending? Sylvester had a 938, man. It wasn't on Sylvester. It wasn't on... I think it was on Theodore not being an 83 anymore, but he only dropped to an 82. The thing is, Butcher dropped to a 78, which is unfortunate, man. Um, okay, you know what? Honest loss. Just an honest loss to the, to the Nashville Predators. Shoutouts to them. We're going to go into the Stat Central, and we're going to see... Uh, let's go to see what they were dealing with. Maybe they had just a really good team. They had... Okay, yeah, that is a, that is a pretty damn good... His name is Cameron. His name is Cameron. And he's an 89 overall out here. We got Gaucher, 82. There's a 91 in Tovenin. Forsberg's still there. Uh, Nubiega is great, apparently. Kapari's still there. Uh, okay, okay, they have, uh, it seems like they have somewhat of a balanced team, a little bit more top-heavy than we are, but they, oh, no. Oh, you motherfucker! Ryan Pulak is, is gonna, <laughs> after I, after I let him go, Ryan Pulak is gonna come back and beat us in the conference final. I see y'all better lose in the, in the Stanley Cup finals, I'll be pissed. I'll be pissed. Oh, no, 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 no. Who did you have? Oh, NFL is so... That that was my dog in NHL 21's Be A Bro. That was my dog. He just... Did they have 286 goalies? What is this? This this guy is the one that started. He had a 931. Damn, okay. You know what? Nashville was just good. Nashville was a really good team. And I'll be pissed. I'll be absolutely pissed if uh, Buddy comes out and wins the Stanley Cup here with the um, Nashville Predators. I'll be annoyed. I'll be very annoyed. I feel like we could have beat Columbus. I don't know anything about their roster, but I feel like we could have beat Columbus. And it's a 2-2 two -two series. Okay, maybe not. Maybe it was going to be a close series there, too. And Columbus wins the Stanley Cup. That makes me happy because uh, our former San Jose Shark did not win it. But you know what? Just for funsies, let's go find out who Columbus had on their team. Because let's see if there's anybody... You know, anybody that we let go recently that was on that team. No, Patrick Line. No, he's still there. That's crazy. Oh, no. Yo, I started this the, the video telling y'all Columbus was on the way up. And, yeah, that is a team they have over there. Holy smokes. By the way, that's funny. That's funny. Dubois went back and they now have Dubois and Line on the same team. That's great. But uh, Hatfield, I, he might have been a former Shark. Other than that, like nobody of note. Demi Trakos is a dope name. Uh, I think we had Cernak at one point, but it's not like the like we just got rid of him. Ah man, that is a that is a team right there. That is a, a real freaking team, and they had no goaltending at all. They didn't even have a goalie. Wow, what? What is this? What is this? They won the Stanley Cup with a seventy-eight overall goalie. Are you shitting me? Wow! Wow! Uh, I oh whatever. Well, I'm uh, subscribe. Uh, gamer subs code in the description. All of that. I'm out. I'm, I'm leaving.